Welcome back to Forever, back again with another video, and today I'm about to review or talk about season or Big Brother season 20, um, episodes one through five. Now I know I said I was gonna do episodes one through three, but I wanted to do the first eviction, and the first eviction didn't come until episode five. So I'm about to talk about this. I'm really excited to talk about this with y'all. This is literally my favorite show or my only show on TV, other than I watch wrestling, but like that's it. And wrestling is not really, like, I don't really count it as, like, a TV show. I don't know. Like, it, it's kind of like a, I know it's not a sport, but it's, like, I don't know, sports entertainment. But Big Brother Takes the Cake is my favorite. I, first of all, let me just say, now that I've, I'm not looking at first impressions of the cast, and I'm actually looking at the cast on the first, second, all these episodes, this is by far my favorite cast. As, as jealous as I am, and I want to be on this cast, on this show so bad, this cast, the, the producers did a great job casting this. these people. This is, and I've seen not every season. Like I told y'all, I just started watching this here. But, um, yeah, this cast has got to be my favorite. So, anyway, let's get started. So, episode one, they started off with this new, oh, first off, the first thing I have to say is immediately from introductions to the cast, Somebody I did not like was Winston, and I know a lot of people online don't like Winston either, and if y'all don't know why, it's because in his intro, he said he was a big fan of the, uh oh, I don't know which commitment it is, but the right to bear arms. He's a big fan of that, and he talks about guns, and you just see him shooting guns a lot inside his intro, and he says he just feels safer if he goes to the movies and he's sitting with a gun next to him. And then we see him kissing a gun. Like, he just seems like... I don't like him. Uh, and most people don't online, so I'm glad I wasn't the only one. Um, I think he's probably the least liked in the whole house when it comes to Twitter and the fans. Um, he he just seems like the type of... You like guns that much, and you put it in your intro, and you kissing a gun and all that. You seem like the type that will shoot somebody that's being innocent. Like, you just do. Like, even if you're not the type of person, it seems like it by your intro. So, whatever. Um, but now we go into the house, and the first thing they did was this challenge where... Well, they, first of all, they split up the house into two teams, and they basically did what they did last year with Paul, where... The winner of this challenge got friendship braces like Paul did last year, and he got to give them out, and, you know, those couple of people are safe. I have to give Swaggy C his props, because I didn't like him in his intro, and then he won me over a little bit, but he did exactly what he said he was going to do. I know he said he was going to win the first HOH, and this wasn't necessarily a HOH, which I was kind of upset about, because I feel like his nominations would have been better and stuff, but Ty, um... So the first group did this challenge where they were inside the dark and they had to find these envelopes and the winner got to play again. Um, I don't really like that challenge, to be honest, because that's just a pure game of luck. Well, I guess a lot of challenges are games of luck, but I didn't like that challenge. I'm not a fan. And then the other challenge was the spelling challenge, which I like that one more because you actually got to control your own fate more. And that's the one that Swaggy C won. Oh, and then the people that came in last got... got punishments and the person that came in last inside the dark challenge was kc and by the way that's another one where i have to say i fell in love with kc when i seen her coming to the house i thought she was so cute to me she's the best looking girl inside the house which is so weird because she's the gay one and she doesn't like boys at all but she's she's mad cute i don't know what race she is she don't look white but she definitely don't look black either i don't if I'm going based on looks, I don't know what race she is. And then her voice, like, I don't I don't know. If anybody knows what, like, where she's from or her parents is from, put it down in the comments because I'm not sure. But she's so cute to me. Um, so I really liked her. But she got this punishment because she came in last in a darkness challenge, which was not that bad to me. Like, she's basically a pinwheel of doom where she's dressed in all these colors, which was pretty funny because when Rockstar saw her, she was like, Maybe I should have came in last if this the punishment, because Rockstar loved colors. So, and Casey is gay, so she was wearing a rainbow, and she's like the biggest LGB, all that, like, supporter, because she's in it. And basically, when the wheel started spinning, because she had a little pinwheel on her with all these colors, she had to stay in that room. To me, that's not that bad. If I got that ch that punishment, it's real easy. Just don't go inside the storage room, because that's a really small room, and, you know... 
it might go off and then you can't talk to anybody or do anything stay inside big rooms like if you go to the backyard make sure there's people out there um go to stay in the living room stay in the kitchen like open rooms where there's like a lot going on and a lot of people stay in those rooms then we have sam she came in last in the spelling challenge which by the way with kc the person that was last with her was winston and i was really hoping winston came in last but anyway um Sam's punishment was horrible. <laughs> she became a robot. And I saw in an interview with Julie Chen that Sam is actually inside of a room doing nothing with nothing in it. And that's when she's a robot. She's inside of a room. And she's just, you know, using this remote to make her robot move and, you know, talk and turn around and all that stuff. So it's really weird. And she can only see, like, the front. So there's no peripheral. It's really weird. And I felt bad for Sam because she's the nicest one in there. I actually started watching live feeds, which I never thought I would start watching. I think it's kind of creepy. But Sam is always doing dishes. Every time I turn on live feeds, Sam is doing dishes. She is so nice. She was cooking the other day. Like, she, she's just so nice. And I really just did feel bad for her. She was crying and stuff. Okay, so the spelling challenge Swaggy C1. Really fast, too. And I don't know if I said the darkness challenge Angela won. Um, so... Angela and Swaggy fought inside of this other challenge, which was kind of like endurance. They were on a surfboard. And basically, Angela told Swaggy to his face, I'm not going to save you because we get eight. We can save half the house. Angela said she's going to save the people she came into the house with. I think that was pretty stupid because Swaggy was going to save her anyway. But then he said, okay, now i got to go extra hard inside this challenge and win it because you're not going to save me, which he did. He won, which I didn't think he was going to. So that's why I got to give big ups to him because he did exactly what he said he was going to do. Um, even though it wasn't the HOH, I understand, but he got to make some people safe. Now, he didn't know he had to make them safe within the groups they came in, so he couldn't save Angela. He decided to save a group with Fessy, which was his best friend in the house so far. Um, at this point, uh, Bailey is getting close to Swaggy saying, calm down, you know, you're cocky. Because when he came in after winning his challenge, somebody said, um who won and he was like me that's why i'm in here and i thought that was pretty rude of him to say so i really appreciate um bailey for saying that even though i, I still don't like bailey but we'll get come on to that so basically he saves all of them now we go to the hoh competition which is the other eight that he did not save and really they all they have to do is just go run and I watched this a while ago, so if I get this wrong, they had to run, go get a ball on a balance beam. They ran on a balance beam, picked up a ball, ran back across their balance beam, and they could put their ball in anybody's um, bin. And we had Tyler and Bailey teaming up, which came out of nowhere, and we had Angela and, was it Winston? Or Angela and Brad? I think Brad, Brett is teaming up. I don't know. But basically, Sam, they were teaming up on her, and I felt so bad for her. Sam said that there were people that were not even close to her running over just to put their ball inside her bin. So basically, she got out first again. And uh, Steve, my man Steve, who I predicted to be one of the winners, he got out, like, I think first or second, and he could not get on the thing. Like, he kept falling off the balance beam. It was hilarious. But anyway... Tyler ended up winning. He worked with Bailey the whole time, but then it came down to JC, Bailey, and Tyler. And Tyler started going after Bailey because Bailey had less in her than JC. So Bailey eliminated JC, and then Tyler eliminated Bailey shortly after. So Tyler won. And in the meantime, Bailey was yelling at him, cussing him out, saying, Why are you going after me? We've been working together. Tyler becomes HOH. Boy, was my predictions wrong. I predicted him to leave first, and he's the first HOH. I predicted Steve to be one of the winners, and, well, we'll come on to that. Tyler, Swaggy talks to, so basically Tyler figures out what's going on with Swaggy. Swaggy decides to make an alliance with him. Actually, I'll put a picture on the screen right now because it separates the alliances. I got somebody sent it to me on Twitter. Swaggy, Swaggy, Rockstar. I don't know if Bailey was in it. It was Swaggy, Rockstar, Fessy, Haley. Caitlyn surprisingly became into their alliance, and I'm probably missing one. But and then the other group was oh, and Caitlyn named this group um, Foul Say, Foul Tay, Four of Us Till the End, Foul Tay, yeah. 
And anyway, the other group, which was Angela, Angela, Rachel, Brad, or Brett, I don't know his name. Angela, Rachel, Brett, Winston, Casey, and Tyler. They went up to Tyler, and they decided to name their group um, Level 6, which I really like, to be honest, the name Level 6. And it was like, because the whole house is like game style for the technology, and then they have this handshake like, like, it's pretty cool. I like their group name. And I like their group. Their group is look pretty badass, like all them people. But it's the group that I don't like. I like the group, but I don't like because I'm more on the other side of the house with Swaggy, even though I don't like Swaggy. I like everybody else. Haley, Fessy, like, I like them. Caitlyn became one of my favorite people. She was hilarious in the house on the second episode and the first episode when she was she was having people do her meditation stuff and Swaggy, like, fell asleep during it. Like, it was hilarious. Like, I, I like Kate, or Caitlyn a lot. Tyler's playing both sides of the house, and it's hilarious. We're well, not playing them at all, actually. He's just the HOH, and people are just giving him information. Level 6 is telling him to put up Steve and Sam, while Faute is telling him to put up... But Faute did not include him in the alliance, which I think was a good idea. They did not include Tyler, so he doesn't know about Faute. So, they are telling him to put up Winston and Angela. Swat. Now, Tyler tells the other group, so he's more in level 6. He tells the other group what's going on, and basically, he decides to align with the other group, level 6, and he puts up Sam and Steve. And I felt really um, upset, kind of, because I didn't want Steve to go home, because he's one of my favorites, he was one of my picks. And Sam was just really nice, and I didn't want her to go home first. I really don't care if she go home after even though I really like her. So anyway, um, what happens? Uh, I'm going to skip until the end now with the uh, eliminations. Basically, Sam ended up, I mean, um, Caitlyn ended up turning on her alliance, the alliance that she named, by the way, and she voted with level six and got Steve out, and it was a blind side from um, Falte. Falte didn't know that this was going on, and, like, their faces was like, wow, Steve is leaving. Steve wasn't in Faute, but he's more on the other side of the house. Pretty much all the floaters, the f it's four floaters. And that's um, Steve, Scotty, Sam, and, oh, JC. JC is more on the other side with, Fal with level six. And the other three were all on Faute. So... It was weird, but, you know, and then Swaggy, this is the part where I really disliked Swaggy. Um, he tried to make an alliance with him, Fessy, Brett, and Winston. And Brett already knew what was going on, or Winston, one of them, I forgot. By the way, that was a good prediction of mine. I said uh, Brett and Winston would be an alliance, and they are. They're called the bros. Um, basically... That was a mistake by Swaggy. You're playing too hard. You're doing too much. And that's why I think you're not going to make it to jury. And you're definitely not going to win. So that happened. And they just went up and told what was going on. They want Swaggy out the house now. Bad. Now also we have the little um, trending stuff. Now I. There's a punishment and the most trending. Now I didn't know who would be the most trending. But I probably should have known it was going to be Sam. Sam got the most trending. And she got this power where. If she's eliminated, she can come back right back inside the house for four weeks. And if she don't use it in four weeks, then the fourth person who's eliminated automatically gets to play and get back inside the house. Which, I was upset that she told Tyler. I'm like, nobody in this house can keep a secret. Like, why did you tell Tyler? Like, Tyler knows everything. But I like Tyler. I like Tyler. But he just knows too much. He knows everything that's going on. And it's because of this house. Just letting him know. Mainly Faute. Level 6 is literally his alliance, so they don't have anything to lose. But Faute and his floaters, like, y'all are doing too much. I was hoping for Sam to be eliminated in this first episode so that she can just come right back in. Because I really didn't want Steve to go. But Steve was eliminated. Uh, he had a good time. He had fun, you know. And then we get to the punishment. I knew for a fact. Well, not for a fact. But I knew. I had a, a inkling that... Um, Fessy would be the one to get this. And this is why. Because I thought, when I hear trending, I think of Twitter. So it's the people that are most talked about on Twitter. And personally, I thought 
I don't even know how to pronounce Fessy's real name. Faisal, Fuzzle, Fuzzle, whatever. So I'm like, most people on Twitter probably don't know how to spell his name. So he's not going to be talked about a lot. And I was right. And I feel like that's why. If, if it goes off Twitter, I think a lot of people don't know how to spell his name. So that's why he was the least trender. So that's just my prediction. Um, then they play the next HOH competition. Oh, let me talk about the showmance with, um, oh, Scotty and Steve, they were best friends, so now Scotty don't have his best friend in the house. Swaggy, which, by the way, I don't hate that I'm calling him Swaggy. Like, I agree with what Bailey said, who gives himself a nickname? Like, you just gonna give yourself a nickname, and then the word swag is such an old word. Nobody use that word no more. Swaggy C, but I do think Swaggy C is a good person. Like, I watch in the live feeds, he is a good person. The way he talked to Bailey, and the way he talked to, like, Scotty, like, he's a good person. Like, he's, I like Swaggy a lot. Well, not a lot, but I think he's annoying, but he, he cool. Um, Bailey is an idiot, in my opinion. Um, she went off on Tyler. She was about to be the replacement nominee. Oh, that's another thing. Vito, Fessy won and kept the noms the same. Um, it wasn't a big deal with that. Um, yeah. Um, oh, and Fessy decided this punishment was this ham punishment, so every time the thing rings, he has to eat some ham. Well, he's Muslim, so he eats, like, vegan ham. But what was I talking about? Oh, the showman's. Um, Swaggy's upset with himself for getting in the showmance with Bailey. Bailey is just so emotional, and I just don't like her, and she's, she's annoying. Bailey's so annoying. And just all over Swaggy. Like, I watch the live feeds. They kissing every five seconds, so they're in a full-blown showmance. But they're not, like, holding hands, walking around. They're kind of, like, secretly kissing and stuff when there's nobody around. But it's still clear that people know y'all are always around each other, just in private, if that makes sense. Um, but it seems like that's going to be the downfall. But they know, they both know it's going to be the downfall of their game. And they both are there to win. Bailey, like, I don't understand. Are you acting stupid? Because in her intro, she in her video, she was acting real stupid, and I didn't like her. But now inside the house, she don't act stupid. She act kind of smart. She just makes stupid decisions. So I'm like, maybe she was, like, a little tipsy inside her, her video that I watched. That's what I'm thinking. But, so now they okay, play. So I'm filming this on my iPhone, and I ran out of storage, so my video cut off. So I forgot where I ended at. So I'm just going to go skip to the end with Caitlyn. Um, they played the next HOH competition, which was just pure luck, in my opinion. Some of the HOH, some of these competitions, you can only win based on luck. Some are just physical, some are mental, some are endurance, but some are just luck. And this was luck. And Caitlyn ended up winning. And it's so ironic that she's the one that just flipped on her alliance, and now she won. So her alliance can't even be mad at her, because she won the next HOH. I love Caitlyn. I was so happy that she won this. Another thing that went on inside the sauce I forgot to mention was Caitlyn. Bessie and Haley have a showmance. They like each other, but these people in this house are so smart. They know not to be, you know, they don't want a showmance. And that's what Haley and Haley didn't want one, but Fessy was all right. You know, he was after Haley to be in a showmance. But Caitlyn likes Fessy, which is weird because she has a boyfriend back home. So Caitlyn, you know, was crying with Tyler, which, by the way, in the feeds, they, it's not real. Tyler doesn't really like uh, Caitlyn. On the feeds, I saw Level 6 talking, and they were talking about how they didn't have the votes to keep Sam. So they were thinking, like, who can we flip from the other side of the house? And they said Caitlyn would be the easiest. And they told Tyler to flirt with her and stuff like that so that he can wheel her in. And that's exactly what happened on the feeds. So it's not real, and I feel bad for Caitlyn, but she got a boyfriend, so I kind of don't feel bad for her at all. So she got into it with Fessy and Haley a little bit. Um, but she ended up winning this next HOH, so I, and I loved all the memes I saw. Um, you know the little meme with the Davon, they said Fessy's about to be going back to Caitlyn like that, like, it's weird. But I love Caitlyn, she's probably my favorite coming out of these five episodes. But I was watching the feeds last night though, she's the HOH, and it was like four girls sleeping in her bed. It was her, Bailey, it was three girls, her, Bailey, Haley, and Rockstar, so it was four all together, but three other than her. And Caitlyn, the lights were out, and the, the producers are so shady for this. They zoomed in all the way on Caitlyn. She was literally digging in her nose, like, with two fingers at the same time, just, like, all in. And ask me what she did with her buggers or whatever she got out of her nose. She wiped it on the comforter in front of her. 
it it was pretty gross. But I mean, no, it's that's gross <laughs> when you look at it. All I'm about to say it's her bed. They shouldn't have been in there. But that's gross. Period. Even if they wasn't in there, um. Yeah, live feeds, they talk about some weird stuff. Like, the girls were talking about masturbating and how they do it there at the house because there's cameras everywhere. I also know who um, Haley or Caitlin put up, but I'm not going to tell you. I'm not going to, you know. The next video I'm going to do is going to be after the next eliminations. Um, so, Steve's eliminated. Caitlin's HOH, and she put up two people who I'm not going to say. So, um, Oh, and the, H the have not room is um, satellite discs this year so i don't think it's that bad as some of the years prior especially last year with the um nails on the bed so yeah but i love this season love this cast love everything about it oh also in the first episode the live show everybody was there from previous seasons i wish i was on stage um apparently they were kind of rude to this boy um jc they were chanting minion at him because he had some video leak um online with him and a minion Y'all can look that up yourself if y'all want to know what was going on in that video. But basically, um, there was somebody from each season inside the audience for um, the premiere of this. So, seems pretty fun. Um, but until next time, y'all, please leave comments because I want to talk about this show with y'all. I don't have many people to talk about Big Brother with. I think I only got one. So, add me on Snapchat or just comment inside the comments about this season. Tell me what y'all disagree with about me. Favorite so far, I would say is Caitlyn. Least favorite so far, I would say is definitely Winston. So, catch you later.